So I think there's some problem with the starter motor or it might be the relay, but I think it's the brushes in the starter motor. Since this has been hard to start, they've rev they they run it a lot, so and I feel it's it works sometimes and sometimes it doesn't. And I believe that the relay sort of I I believe it's the motor, so I'm gonna remove it and then you have to remove the the air intake box and you loosen this this screw here. I already done that and then I connect this connected this here. So I should be able to maybe pull it out now. Of course I need both hands I believe. But I'll remove it now. Looks like it's 8mm bolt. So I'm just gonna unscrew those two and pull the cables, see how, how they follow. So still a bit tight, so I'm gonna see if I can move this a bit too. <laughs> so this plastic fender here back is attached to that bolt. Hmm. Anyway, now it's loose. Let's see if we can just jiggle it out. Yeah, no problem. It's a screw there, okay. So the engine this sits on is a 139Q QMA, the long, the long case, there's a short version and there's a long case. And this is how it looks, get the screws here on the back, no, nothing really big play. So as far as I understand, you just unscrew this and then we'll see how it goes with the brushes if they if they will make a mess. Also this is pretty tight. <sighs> yeah, that was stuck. How about this one? Ah, oh, that was easier. Yeah, should make a mark on it also before we pull it apart. Get eight, eight millimeter. See how we, it's pretty tight to clean. If I loosen this, then I won't get it back, I guess.
So a lot of junk. Oh, now much, much better. Could use a better, finer sandpaper. This is better. Not great, but better. So a little cleaner. We got seven there, seven millimeter. You can see it. Upside down, anyway. And then we got five here. And then the total length, I don't know, but uh, here it's eight, but it could be probably 10, 12, something like that. So it's way cleaner now. I'm gonna put it back, see if I can get it back into, get the feather, the springs and so on in there and try to put that back. See how hard it will be. Well, I'll get back when I got it in place. So, I finally got it in place again. It was a pain in the peep. Yeah, it was really hard to get it in there with uh, trying to put the the carbon back there but now it's there finally so I'll try to put everything together and hope it won't pull apart again so I'm gonna I'm gonna pull here uh, this side where while I do this it's the magnets and so on and I'm just gonna clean this a bit some clean paper hopefully this says a lot of grease as you can see a lot of crap carbon or whatever it is that builds up and maybe I should put a bit of of uh, grease down there since that is where this is yeah I'll do that you can see I get get some up so I'm just gonna Gonna get this grease here. It's from Biltem, of course. <laughs> and just put a tad down there. Clean this up a bit. So where's the alignment mark I made there? We got it there. So I hope I can be strong enough to resist when it's pulling. Or don't let go. And we got the mark there. Yeah, something like that. Now just put everything back. So I got this in place after a while. It was a bit of a hassle. Since the magnet is pulling them, the screws, then it was hard to get them straight to the, to the uh, nut place. But after a while, of trying to really put it straight, it's now in place, finally. Let's hope it makes some some difference. So I'm gonna mount it back, I guess. Here we got some. Uh, what does it say? Uh, Chinese something, I guess. So let's measure between here also. 
if you're gonna order a part it's good to know what is the so we got the something like uh, seven, 70 70 millimeters across there yeah 71 this is a GY650 cent cubic centimeters. I believe they are a bit smaller. They're like 40, 47, 48 diameter across here. And how many teeth? Yeah, that's what we're gonna count also. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, yeah, ten teeth. You can count it yourself. And of course, you should feel a slight resistance here. The magnets going over the the winding, the copper windings. Yeah, so I put it back. It's the same procedure. I don't have to show you, right? So everything is back, now I'll put back that box and then uh, mount a battery and then we'll try see if it still works or if it works better. It was a bit wobbly earlier. So the battery is in place, so let's give it a try. Lights on. Come on, come on. Yeah, it works. I'll leave it alone.